So find a comfortable seat, Sukhasana, if that feels like a nice way to sit. Any other seat that just allows you to sit up nice and tall, take a second to find your way there. And if, if for whatever reason, if you just get tired of sitting in Sukhasana, switch your seat around, sit in a hero's pose or thunderbolt pose, if that feels just like a different, something different, if that floats your boat. But whatever seat you choose, take a second to get comfortable in it. And then if you can, Close your eyes down or soften your gaze and just give your body a moment to settle in. And then as you start to settle into your seat a little bit, just tune in right away and notice your sits bones, your hips, your butt connected to the ground. Notice if you're holding a lot of tension in our thigh or in the abdomen, see where can you rearrange so this feels like a good, soft, comfortable seat and you can slightly relax the belly, still maintaining that good posture, but not clenching so tight in the abdomen, softer in the inner thighs, let your shoulders soften. And then just notice your hands, if your hands are having a death grip on your knees. Can you soften your fingers? Can you soften your palms? And then as you feel that solidness of the floor beneath your seat, now see if you can tune in and notice that spaciousness or that openness above you and in front of you and behind you. So just kind of notice the cool air on your skin. Notice the freedom of movement in your breath here. So breathe in and out with whatever depth works good for you, but notice the movement in your rib cage. You might even notice movement in your shoulders, your chest, your belly, whatever the case may be. But that difference between the solidness of the floor underneath your butt and that freedom to move above you, just see if you can kind of tune in and notice that little bit of difference. And then without changing your position at all, it's really easy sometimes to notice or pay attention to the breath in the front of the body, the heart space in the front of the belly, but without moving or changing or doing anything, can you tune in and notice the backside of your body? Maybe start by noticing the space where the back and bottom of your ribs would be, and then just draw a line up a little bit and notice that whole back rib cage area, shoulder blades, and can you feel the movement of breath in that back space of your body without changing anything else? And then as we stick with that breath awareness, we're gonna move right into a box breathing or a four count breath. So it's gonna be an inhale for a count of four. You'll retain the breath for a count of four, exhale for a count of four, and then retain your exhale for a count of four. So take your nice big inhale, just kind of smoothing out that line of rhythm. Take your inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold the breath for four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, retain the exhale, four, three, two, one, control the inhale, four, three, two, one, retain the inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold that exhale, four, three, two, 
One, keep that going and see if you can keep that count going at your breath's rhythm. Take about two more cycles through that whole entire breath. So four count to inhale, four count to hold, four count to exhale, four count to hold. Nice. And then once you've completed those cycles of breath, allowing your breath to come back to a sort of neutral rhythm, we're going to take it into unfurl the brow. So we're going to take our thumb right to that space at that third eye center, or that space right between your eyebrows, put a little gentle pressure on as you inhale, you're going to press gently into the thumb, glide it up to where about the hairline would be. Exhale, press into the thumb, and draw it back down to that space between the eyebrows. Inhale, drawing up. Exhale, drawing down. Two more cycles of breath here. Awesome, once you've completed those cycles of breath, we're just gonna stack the hands on top of the heart. Pause here for a moment to set an intention, setting an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice. Never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. With that intention set, gently open your eyes. We're gonna slide the hands out just so we can tuck our thumbs under our armpits, and we're gonna put just a little bit of a hook into those thumbs. So you're gonna hook up into the armpit chest area. Keep that little hook of the thumbs up into the armpit chest, and now we're just gonna take a couple of light pumps of the arms up and down. So there's a little bit of work in that lymphatic area. So we've got lymph glands all underneath the armpit. So we're just kind of putting a gentle bit of pressure on with the thumb and then pumping the arms up and down. Nice, take one or two more little pumps of the arms up and down, and then we're just gonna release the thumb from the armpits, fingertips are gonna find the shoulders, and we're just gonna start to take the elbows and draw some nice generous circles. Circle in one direction, just allowing a little time for the shoulders to warm up a little bit, create a little space in the shoulder blade area. And then once you feel like you've created a little warmth in this direction, take your elbows, draw those circles, go the other way. Beautiful, one more circle around. We're gonna keep the fingertips on the shoulders. Elbows are gonna stay nice and wide. And now we're gonna to start to add a little rotation of the spine. First, start with just a soft little bit of rotation just to kind of tune in, notice how your back is feeling, notice how your belly's feeling. And then once you feel like you've kind of got a little bit of a rhythm going with that mo motion, now you're gonna add the breath with this pattern. So you're gonna to inhale to one side, exhale to the other side, but you might choose to pick up the pace. So it might become a little bit of a rapid fire breath. So inhale one side, exhale the other side, and it might become a little bit of a forceful exhale. We're gonna create a little bit of heat in the center. So just make sure that the motion that you're using feels safe and comfortable in your back. But if it's feeling good, keep on going for about five more cycles of breath. And then once you've completed that last cycle of breath, both hands are gonna swim behind the back. Tall fingertips, lift your chest, lift your chin, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Release, left hand's gonna just reach out at the side, right hand's gonna reach up and take it right into a gentle side bend, lifting up and over to the side and then take it right over the other way. Now we're gonna take it into a nice dynamic side bends, just taking it side to side at a pace that feels good to you.
the next time the left hand touches down and the right hand reaches up, stay there, take an extra cycle of breath. Awesome, lift up, take it over to the other side. Stay there, take an extra cycle of breath. Nice, and then lift up, we're gonna rotate our heart towards the left knee. So just a slight rotation. Hands are gonna find the ground. We're gonna tent the fingers, little cupcake hands or piano fingers. So get a nice firm handhold on the ground. Heart is rotating towards the knee and then we're just gonna lean the heart forward just a little bit. And then hopefully here on the opposite side, you'll feel a little bit of a tender pull right in that low back side area. So where the side of the hip meets. So see if you can feel a little sensation there. And then once you feel that sensation, pause, don't go any further with that fold. Take a nice deep breath in, slow breath out, and then lift up, unwind, take it over to the other side. So we're going to rotate the heart towards the knee, anchor into your fingers. And then once you've found that, lean your heart forward just to the point where you feel that little sensation in that low back side body area. And then pause there for a second, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Awesome, lift up, release back to center, lean back into your sits bones, swing your legs out. And we're gonna take it right into some big giant windshield wipers here. So we're just gonna rock those knees side to side. You can roll across the glutes, any bit of movement here that kind of loosens you up. So get some movement in the hips, get some movement in the glutes, kind of tune in, notice how are your knees feeling? How are your ankles feeling? How are your feet feeling? <clears throat> One more big giant windshield wiper, those knees side to side. And then when you're ready, we're gonna send the feet out nice and long, but we're gonna take it into a sort of active staff pose position. So feet out in front of you, legs as straight as they can be. If you need to bend your knees, do what feels the best, especially if it feels like it makes you round your back a little bit. So if you're feeling like that tug against the hamstrings, bend your knees, sit up nice and tall, hands alongside the hips, push gently into the arms so we keep it hold that nice upright position and then we're going to focus down at the feet so we're going to start by keeping the feet in a slightly flexed position but can you just curl your toes in and then release your toes curl your toes in release your toes do that one more time curl the toes in release your toes nice and now we're going to go point and flex the feet so we're going to reach through the toes reach them long to the end of the mat keep that upright position with the spine flex the feet pull the toes in towards your body Point your toes, reach them away from you. Pull the toes in and flex your feet. Beautiful. Point the toes, reach them away. Pull the toes in and flex. Point the toes, hold there. So we're going to keep that nice long active reach through the toes. Press into your arms. Keep that tall uplifted spine. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Keep that upright lifted spine. Pull the toes in. Flex the feet. Flex the feet so much so that maybe the heels slightly lift away from the floor. If they don't, don't worry. That's just a, different variations in our Achilles tendon. But if you can find that little lift, that's cool. Just hold on one more second, nice and strong. And then when you're ready, soften and release, bend your knees a lot, take a nice big breath, reach the arms up and overhead, as much of a bend in the knees as you like, and then fold towards your feet. You do not need to touch your feet, just find a fold that works good for you. And then keep your knees nice and bent so you're not feeling anything zinging up into your glutes or no sharp pain in the low back. And then once you've found a fold that feels good to you, take three nice deep breaths. Awesome, when you're ready, slowly come back up and then we're gonna swing it around into a tabletop position. So spin your legs around, come onto all fours in any way that works good for you. <clears throat> and then once we've found that all fours position, we're gonna hold just the all fours position without much else going on. So we're just gonna tune in and pay attention. So start by spreading your fingers nice and wide, index fingers pointing towards the top of the mat. Now we're gonna look down at our knees. So knees are in line with the hips, but can you see your toes, have your toes swung in or have they swung out? Can you line your heels up with your knees so everything feels like it's in a fairly neutral and parallel position? And then once you've found your way there, we're just going to press into the hands just a little bit so we bring a little bit of a broadness into the shoulders. Draw the abdominal muscles up just slightly so we keep a little bit of an engagement in the belly. And then we're going to pull the chin back slightly like you're making a tiny little double chin so that the head's not dropping down looking at the floor, but everything is nice and active. So the shoulders are slightly engaged. Head is drawing back slightly, abdomen is slightly pulled in, a nice long spine, gaze down between your thumbs and take three nice big breaths here.
Awesome. Now we're going to keep that nice active bottom half of the body, but now we're just going to do like we're a little chicken and we're going to peck our beak. So we're going to just let the head drop down a little bit and then pull it back like you're making a double chin. Draw the nose down like you're pecking the floor and then pull the head back. Beautiful. Take about three more just like that, moving into those muscles, the spine muscles, the back of the neck and in between the shoulder blades. Last one here. And then we're gonna move right into the scapula area. So we're gonna take it into some scapular push-ups. So we're gonna let the chest drop down and then push the floor away and round the shoulders. And just take a few times here, working through the shoulder blades at a pace that feels good to you. Nice, now we're gonna stick with those shoulder blade area, but now we're gonna move into a little bit of a shoulder grind. So we're gonna, let the chest drop down and then we're gonna circle through the shoulder. So most of that movement is happening up in the shoulder blade area. We're circling around in one direction, keeping the head in as much of a neutral position as you can maintain. Take one more circle around and then we're just gonna take those circles reverse and go the other way. So one way might feel a little bit more fluid than the other, don't worry about that. Just keep it as smooth as feels available to you. And then when you feel ready, take it right into a cat cow. Drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Round your back, round your shoulders, tuck your chin into your chest. Drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Round your back. And then you take this at your pace too. Finding a breath rhythm that works good for you. Moving at a depth that feels right in your body. Awesome, take one more time through and then we'll move right into scrape the peanut butter jar. So the next time your belly drops down, pull the ribs over to one side, circle them around and smooth those circles out. Take a few circles in one direction. Next time belly drops down, take those circles and draw them the other way. Awesome, one more circle around and then find a neutral spine and we're gonna move right into C-spine. So we're gonna hug hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder, just taking it gently side to side at a pace that feels good to you. One more C-spine each way or even yourself out and then come to that neutral position and now we're gonna take it into pelvic tilt. So it's gonna stay right at that hip area. Most of the work is gonna come from those low belly muscles keeping the shoulders pretty neutral, keeping your head in a pretty neutral position, curling the tailbone under, and then this lifting it slightly. Beautiful, take one or two more tilts of that pelvis, and then when you're ready, find neutral pelvis, neutral spine, slide your right leg back, toes curled under, and take a few rocks forward and back. The next time you press back into that heel, stay there for an extra cycle of breath. Nice, and then when you're ready, slide that leg in, we're switching right over to the other side. Slide the left leg back, toes curled under, take a few rocks forward and back. Beautiful, the next time you press back into that heel, stay there, take an extra cycle of breath. Awesome, and then when you're ready, slide that leg in. We're gonna go big toes together, knees together. So we're gonna come into that closer position, child's pose. So big toes together, knees together, pull your butt back to your heels, rearrange some things. So you've got space for your belly, space for your chest. Arms are gonna stay extended out nice and long, but see if you can just let your arms and your hands be soft. So now that we had a little bit of compression on the wrist and a little bit of weight bearing in the hands and the wrist, now let them chill out for a second. And even if it feels good, maybe twinkle your fingers a little bit, wiggle them around, let them be soft and let, letting go of any tension that they may have come across in that creased position. And then once you've wiggled out your fingers just enough, let the hands come to stillness and see if you can tune back into the back space of your body, bottom of the ribs, 
space between the shoulder blades and see if you can notice your breath in the back of your body here. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly bring yourself back up, walk your knees out so they're slightly in line with the hips and we're gonna move right into puppy pose. Hips are gonna stay in line with the knees. Walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat. Let your chest and your forehead melt down. Make as much space between your arms as feels good to you so that your shoulders and your chest feel like they can just drop down and sink into that shape. Take one more breath. We're gonna come down onto our belly through a sphinx position. So lift your belly up, walk the hands in so elbows are in line with the shoulders, elbows and forearms down, and then walk your feet to the back end of your mat. Gently lower yourself down through that sphinx position. Pull the heart forward, press up through the crown of your head. Take one good breath. And then we're gonna, after we've completed that one breath, we're going to just walk the elbows out nice and wide. Lower down onto your belly. Right hand's going to come out and right into intense shoulder stretch. So right hand's going to reach out straight from the shoulder. Push gently into your left arm. Left shoulder draws up and back, and that might be enough. You might choose to stay there. But if that feels good and you want just to find a little bit more sensation, you might roll over onto your hip. Step your left foot behind you. And then once you've found the depth of work that feels good to you, take three nice big breaths. Nice, when you're ready, slow and controlled, roll back onto your belly. If you roll down to your side, slide that hand in. We're gonna take it right over to the other side. Left hand's gonna reach out straight from the shoulder, push gently into the right arm so the right shoulder draws back. See how that feels. If that feels great and you want more sensation, roll onto your left hip, step your right foot behind you. And then once you've found the depth of work that you like, take three nice deep breaths. Beautiful, with control, roll gently back onto your belly, slide both hands in, hands alongside the shoulders, moving right into some low cobras here. Inhale, lift your heart up just as high as you like. Exhale and lower down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale to lower down. On this last one, we're gonna lift and hold. Inhale, lift your heart up. Maybe see how it feels to lift your hands away from the floor. Feel that strength in the back of your body. Beautiful, with control, float those hands down, push your way up to a tabletop position, walk your knees in so that your knees are in line with your hips, and then we're gonna curl the toes under and take it into a hovering table. So we're gonna pick the knees up away from the floor about two inches, keeping the rest of the body nice and engaged, belly pulled in, shoulders nice and broad, gazing down at the floor, and then just check your head. So if your head's jutted down towards the ground, can you pull it back just a little bit so you keep that nice strong position through the back of the body? Take one more moment here. We're gonna keep the toes curled under, release your knees down, draw your butt back to your heels, get that nice little stretch to the toes and the bottoms of the feet. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Two more cycles of breath if you like. Great, and then from this position with your butt back towards your heels, now can you Press into your palms, lift your knees up away from the floor and then start to peel up into a downward facing dog. And then once you've found your way up into that upside down V, start to pedal out the legs, bend one knee and press into the opposite heel. Nice, one more pedal of each leg and then arms in a fairly neutral position. We're gonna pick up the heels, pivot them over to the right. And then as your heels turn to the right, press your heels down, take one gentle breath, lift the heels up, rotate them to center. And then we're gonna pivot the heels over to the left. Press the heels down, take one breath, bring it back up through center and then look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a soft ragdoll fold at the top of the mat. So feet about hip or shoulder distance apart. Make some space for your belly and your chest. Bend your knees a lot. Let your hands dangle or grab your elbows. So you find the handhold that feels the best to you.
Take one more breath. And then if you're holding onto your elbows, go ahead and release your fingers to the ground. Bend your knees a lot. Pull your abdominal muscles in. Roll up to standing. Take your time as you come on up. And then once you come up, take a couple of good rolls of the shoulders, drawing them up to the ears, rolling them around, down and back. Nice. And then find a nice even stance. We're going to take the right arm, bring it across the chest, grab the back of the arm, drop the shoulder down, take three nods of your head up and down. Head to neutral position, release that arm, switch over to the other side. Bring the left arm across, grab the back of the arm, drop the shoulder down. Once you've got the handhold, that works good for you. Three nods of the head up and down. Beautiful. Head to a neutral position, release that arm and find your mountain pose at the top of the mat. So toes and knees pointing fairly forward, anchoring down into your feet maybe hugging the heels in towards each other. So we get that feeling of wrapping up through the back of the body. And then once you've found that nice energetic upward lifting sensation through the spine, take a moment to just focus your gaze forward, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. When you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground. Inhale to half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine. Bend your knees, push into your feet. Inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center. Hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine. Bend your knees, push into your feet. Inhale, arms up. Hands to heart center. Hands down at your sides. One more time through here. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Keep that length in your spine. Bend your knees, push into your feet. Inhale, arms up. Hands are going to come to heart center with a little press between the palms, elbows nice and wide. Transfer your weight onto your left foot. Pick your right knee up. We're going to keep that knee nice and active upward. Flex the foot. And now we're going to push the heel forward. So we're just going to kick that foot forward, forward as, as far as feels good to you. Take one breath, nice and strong, and then bend that knee with control. Float the foot down, transfer your weight onto your right foot. Pick your left knee up as high as you can. Flex the foot, push the heel forward nice and strong, pushing it just as far forward as feels comfortable to you. And then with control, bend that knee, float the foot down, let your hands drop down at your side. Awesome, taking it down into the heels. Inhale, lift your heels up away from the floor. Exhale and lower the heels back down. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale to lower down. One more time here. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, totally up to you with your breath. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, we're going to float the hands down, frame that front foot, and then we're going to do that again. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, float your hands down, frame the front foot. If you can, let that front knee go past your toe just a little bit. Nice. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, float your hands down. If you can, let the knee go past your front toe. And then we're going to keep that sinking down lunging position, but lift your chest, lift your gaze. Take one gentle breath here. Beautiful. And then we'll soften the heart, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up, plant your palms, step back to a plank. Once you've found that plank right away, bring your knees down. Gently lower onto your belly. One low cobra here. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. Push your way up to a tabletop position. Curl the toes under. Hover your table for a second. So pull those knees in so you find that nice hovering tabletop position. And then we're going to keep the knees lifted. Pull your butt back towards your heels. And then we're going to peel up into that downward facing dog position. Once you've found that down dog, look forward. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. We're gonna walk the hands up to the thighs, bend your knees like you're sinking into a little bit of a chair. We're gonna take three Uddiyana Bandha here. So take an inhale, exhale. At the end of the exhale, suck the belly in, hold that for a moment. When you're ready, release the abdominal muscles, inhale. Exhale. At the end of the exhale, suck your belly in. Hold it for a moment. When you're ready, release, take your inhale. 
Exhale. At the end of your exhale, suck the belly in. Hold it for a moment. When you're ready, release the abdominal muscles. Inhale, push firm into your feet. Bring your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, press your palms together, elbows wide, transfer your weight onto your left foot. Pick your right knee up, flex the foot. Kick the foot forward, one breath. Pull it back in with control. Set that foot down, transfer your weight onto your right foot. Pick your left knee up, flex the foot. Push the heel forward. Bring it back in with control. Release your foot down. Find your mountain pose again. Anchor down into your feet. Reach up through the crown of your head. Gaze forward, take one good breath here. Beautiful, when you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked to release. That's your choice with the breath. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, float your hands down. Let your knee come forward past your toe. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, float your hands down. Frame that front foot. Let your knee come forward. Nice. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, float your hands down. Knee comes forward. Keep that lower sunken position. Lift your chest. Lift your gaze. Nice. And then when you're ready, soften your heart. Curl the back toes under. Pick your back knee up. Plant your palms, step back to plank. Once you found that plank, bring the knees down, lower gently onto your belly. One low cobra here, inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down, push your way up to a tabletop position. Once you've found your tabletop position, we're gonna curl the toes under, hover the table, hold it for a moment, and then keep that hovered table, pull your butt back toward your heels, but the knees are still staying lifted up. Peel your butt up into that downward facing dog shape. And then once you've found it, soften your knees, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to that forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold, hold that position, walk your hands up, find the tops of your thighs. Sink into that little chair pose. Inhale, take a nice big breath. Exhale at the end of the exhale, suck the belly in. Hold it for a moment. Release the abdominal muscles, inhale. Exhale, at the end of your exhale, suck the belly in. Hold it for a moment. Release the abdominal muscles, inhale. Last one here, exhale. At the end of the exhale, suck the belly in. Hold it for a moment. When you're ready, release the abdominal muscles, take your inhale, push firm into your feet. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, press the palms together, elbows wide, transfer your weight onto your left foot. Pick your right knee up, flex the foot, push the heel forward, bring the knee right back up and in, set it down, transfer your weight onto your right foot. Pick the left knee up, flex the foot, push the heel forward, bring it back in with control, set that foot down, find your mountain pose again, root down into your feet, gaze forward, head lifted. Take one good mindful breath here. Nice, when you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, right leg back, low lunge, bring the knee down. We're gonna sink forward into that lunge just for a second. So let that front knee come past your toes, keep that sunken position, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Beautiful, now we're gonna pull it back to half split. So if those back toes are curled under, it might feel better to release them, Pull your hips back, peel the front toes up. Beautiful, and then rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick the back knee up. We're gonna take it into a little lunge with a twist. Right hand's gonna stay on the ground, left hand's gonna reach up to the sky, take a nice big breath. Left hand touches down, plant the palms, step back to plank, pause in your plank position. Awesome, once you've got a nice strong plank position, we're gonna tap the toes. So right toe is gonna to tap off the side of your mat, bring it back in with control. Left toe is gonna to tap off the side of your mat. Bring it back in with control. Bring your knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, lower with control onto your belly, moving right into drunken serpent. So hands come off the edges of your mat, nice tall cupcake hands. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. Right shoulder up and back. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale to lower down, beautiful. Take it to the left. Inhale, lift and look over. 
Exhale to lower down, back to center. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down, slide your hands in. Either push your way up to a tabletop or power up to a plank. Find your way up to downward facing dog. Once you've found that downward facing dog, soften your knees, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften all the way down, press firm into your feet and help sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, beautiful. Left leg back, low lunge, bring the knee down. <clears throat> bring that knee past the toe just slightly, lift your heart. Beautiful, one breath, lift your arms up. Float your hands back down, sink into that forward position. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. Take it into half split. So if those back toes are curled under, maybe release them, pull the hips back, peel the toes up. And then as you rock forward, you're gonna curl those back toes under again, pick the back knee up, lifting up. Left hand's gonna stay on the ground, right hand's gonna reach up for a twist. Wonderful, bring that right hand down, plant your palms, step back to a plank, pause in your plank position. This time we're gonna do a shoulder tap. So right hand's gonna reach over and across, touching the left shoulder. Release that hand down. Left hand's gonna reach over and across, touch the right shoulder. Release that hand down, nice. Bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, lower gently onto your belly. Hands off the edges of your mat, back to drunken serpent. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale and lower down. Right shoulder up and back. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale to lower down, take it to the left. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale to lower down, back to center. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. Either slide your hands in and power up to a plank or take it up to a tabletop position, whichever you choose, and then find your way up to downward facing dog. Once you found your way there, soften your knees, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to that soft fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. Keep those hands at your heart center, elbows nice and wide. Transfer your weight over to your left foot. Pick your right knee up, flex the foot. Push the heel forward and then see if you can just hold it out there for an extra cycle of breath, nice and strong. Beautiful, bend that knee with control. Set it down, transfer your weight onto your right foot. Pick your left knee up, flex the foot. Push the heel forward and then just see if you can hold it out there nice and strong for one extra cycle of breath. Lovely, bend that knee, float that foot down, let your hands come down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, hands meet, chest lifts as you look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, we're gonna come into warrior two. So drop that back heel, turn the toes out, right hand is gonna pick you up. Awesome, we're gonna straighten that front leg, pivot your toes out to the side, and then we're gonna take it into some little side bends with those knees. So reaching still actively out through the fingertips, bend one knee and then the other, reposition your legs so that your knees feel good about bending side to side. And then we're gonna take it into a light sweep the table. So we're gonna swing the arms a little bit with the knees, let your arms move with you, let your hips move with you, see how that feels, notice where your energy level is at. And then if it would feel good to pick up the pace. You're gonna let your legs move fast. You're gonna let your arms swing. Your breath might come up a little bit if you choose that faster pace. So you choose a rhythm of work that feels good to you. And now we're gonna take that sweep the tail and we're gonna to start to sweep down towards the ground. So slow it down, sweep your arms down towards the ground. And then once your hands come down to the ground, take it right into your wide leg forward fold. Readjust your legs as needed. Let your head drop down, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Staying in this low position, we're gonna walk around to the front of our mat and find a nice low lunge. So we're gonna pivot the feet, walk your torso around, bend that front knee, drop that back knee down, sink your hips down, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Beautiful, lift that back knee up, plant the palms, step back to plank, lower your knees, Lower gently down onto your belly. One cobra here, just as high as you like. From here, either take it right up to your down dog or through a table to your down dog. 
look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, hands meet chest, lifts as you look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, warrior two. Drop the heel, turn the toes out. Left hand is gonna pick you up. Nice, and then straighten that front leg, pivot both toes out to the left side of your mat. Start to find that nice little bend of each knee, a little bit of a reach through the arms. Reposition your feet as needed so that your knees and your ankles feel good about this lunging movement. And then once you feel like you've found your legs in a good position, add your arms, let your arms swing with you. And then you choose your pace here. You might choose to go slow or you might choose to go fast, whatever feels good. Make sure it's a safe space so your arms can swing as freely as you like. Beautiful, and then start to slow it down. Float those hands down towards the ground. Once your hands have touched down to the ground, reposition your feet so that you're in that wide leg forward fold that you like the best. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Stay in that low and folded position, but we're gonna pivot the feet. So we're gonna walk around towards the front end of our mat, coming through our lunge position. Beautiful, drop that back knee down, lift your chest. Nice, and then pick that back knee up, plant your palms, step right back to a plank. Lower your knees, lower gently down onto your belly. One cobra here, just as high as you like. Either take it up to your down dog from here or through a table to your down dog. Beautiful, from here, we're gonna take the right leg up nice and high into three-legged dog. Bend the knee, let the hip roll open, take one good breath. We're gonna drop that right into a pigeon pose. So we're gonna drop the right leg across the mat. Let your left leg sink down. And then once you're there, just get your hips rearranged so everything feels good. And then find your way into a folded position that you like best. So maybe elbows and forearms, maybe you stack your fists, maybe you walk your hands nice and long. So any variation here that feels nice to you, take a second to find it. Take three more breaths here. When you feel ready, walk yourself up from that folded position, planting your palms, lifting your heart, curl the back toes under. We're gonna slide that front leg back to a three-legged dog. So you're gonna lift up, shoot that leg back, take one big breath with that leg up in the air, release that foot down and then we're gonna switch over to the other side. So left leg is gonna come up nice and high, bend the knee, let the hip roll open, take one big breath and then drop that leg across your mat, pigeon pose to the other side. Nice, and then give a second to just let your hips find your way. That back knee gets nice and comfortable. And then once you're in a position that feels good, you fold yourself out to a depth that feels good. One side might be a little bit of a variation to the other. So don't worry about being symmetrical in how far you fold forward. Just make sure it feels good and safe and comfortable to your knees and to your back. Take three more breaths here. Awesome, when you feel ready, slowly start to walk yourself up and out of that fold, curl your back toes under, pick your back knee up. We're gonna slide that front leg back so it kicks up into that three-legged dog. So shoot that leg up nice and high, with that leg up in the air, take one big breath and then release that foot down to the ground. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. 
Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your side. Now we're gonna finish with one last balance before we come down onto the ground. So it's gonna be hand to big toe pose. So transfer your weight onto one foot, pick your right leg up and see if you can take your peace fingers and grab hold of your right big toe. If you've got hold of your right big toe, Boom, you're there, you nailed it. So if you feel like you, you can just stay right here with the posture, but if that feels great and you want to reach out, you can push that foot forward, finding a little balance there. If that feels great and you want just a little bit of an adventure, you might choose to swing the leg out nice and wide, lifting it up as high as feels good. Any subtle variations that you like. And then when you're ready, bring it back in with control, bend that knee, release it down, take a second, shake out all that stuff. And then we're gonna take it to the other side. Transfer your weight onto your right foot, pick your left knee up, grab hold of that left big toe with your peace fingers. That might be enough. You might choose to just stay here and hold balance. If this feels good and you wanna reach that leg long, if that feels great and you want that little side adventure, and then when you feel ready with control, bring it all back up and in, Set that foot down, pause just for a moment in your mountain pose, anchor down into your feet, lift up through the crown of your head, gaze forward, arms down at your side, focus your gaze and come back to your breath. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Beautiful, on your next inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. We're gonna step both feet back so we find our way into a tabletop position. So knees are gonna float down to the ground once you've got that tabletop position. Hands to the hips, we're gonna come up into a high kneel. Bring your hands into your back pockets. Hips come forward slightly, hug the shoulder blades together, lift your heart up. Look up towards the ceiling. Let your eyes look as far as your eyes can. Take one more breath and then with control, come back up and release. Butt's gonna come back to the heels. We're gonna take it right back to a child's pose. So butt's back to the heels, arms are gonna come forward, extend long through the arms, soften through the back of the body. Take three nice deep breaths here. Beautiful, when you're ready, lift up through that tabletop position, back to that high kneel, hands to the hips, lift yourself up. This time we're gonna curl both sets of toes under so the heels are slightly elevated. Now we're gonna reach the right hand back Can your right hand find that right heel. Once you've got your hand hold, left hand's gonna sweep up, lifting upward through the heart space, lifting up through your gaze and then hips are gonna come forward just as far as feels good. Take a nice deep breath in. With control, release upward, but we're gonna take it right over to the other side. So left hand's gonna swing back. See if you can find that left heel. Once you've found that left hand hold, right hand's gonna sweep up, hips come forward, heart lifts up, gaze up and eyes as far up and back as you can. Beautiful, with control, release everything back up, release your toes, take it back to your child's pose, butt back to your heels. Arms extend out in front of you, soften your belly over your thighs. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Beautiful, when you're ready, lift up through that tabletop position. We're gonna either crisscross the ankles behind us or swing your legs out to one side, whatever gets you there. We're gonna sit back on our butts. Take your time, we're gonna come back to that staff position. So legs out in front of you, flex the feet, hands alongside the hips. Press into your arms, nice and active through the legs. So toes are actively pulling in towards the body. Reach up through the crown of your head. Take one more breath. Lovely, soften your feet, soften your heels, bend your knees, reach your arms up and overhead. Keep that micro bend in the knees. Exhale and reach towards your feet. This time take your fold as far as feels available to you. Once you're there, see if you can just make a little space through the front of the body and then soften just a little further into your fold.
Nice, take one more breath. And then with control, walk yourself back up to an upright position, scoot your butt forward, curl the tailbone under, we're gonna come down with control. So we're gonna curl the tailbone under, engage the abdominal muscles. Once you've got the abdominal muscles kicked on and engaged, we're gonna lower ourselves with control all the way down to the ground. Take your time as you come down. Once your back has found the ground, arms are gonna float right up into cactus or goalpost position. Start to turn your head side to side as you walk your feet in a little bit closer to your butt. One more turn of the head side to side and then head is gonna find a neutral position. Arms are gonna float up into that I dream of genie arms or square across the chest. Pull the elbows gently side to side. One more pull of the elbows side to side and then hands are gonna float down alongside the hips. We're gonna take it into a bridge, but we're gonna take it into a nice high yoga bridge. So walk your heels in as close to your butt as you can. You can also hold onto your heels or hold onto your ankles if that's an available reach, or if you prefer, you might choose to interlace your fingers behind the back. So you'll choose the variation that you like best. Maybe hold onto the heels, lift your hips up nice and high. We're gonna walk up into the shoulders a little bit. So we're gonna hug those shoulder blades in towards each other. So we've got this nice big lift through the heart. Knees are reaching towards the toes, a tiny little lift in the chin, and either you're holding onto your heels, hands are down on the ground, or if you like, you'll interlace the fingers and draw the knuckles towards the heels. So whatever variation there feels nice to you, take one more moment. And then wherever you are, if your hands are on your heels or interlaced, go ahead and release them. And then we're gonna roll down through the spine. So think upper back, middle back, low back, Hips touch down. Once both hips touch down, pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a light little squeeze, maybe a gentle rock side to side. Nice. And then hold on to your right knee. Left leg is going to go nice and long. Move right into supine twist. Right knee is going to come over and across the body. Right arm opens out nice and wide. Take a nice full breath in. Exhale nice and slow. Two more cycles of breath. Beautiful, when you're ready, pull the right knee into your chest, bring your left knee into meat, hold onto your left knee, right leg is gonna go nice and long, supine twist right to the other side, bring that knee over and across the body, left arm opens wide, maybe your head turns to the left, take that nice full inhalation, Soften a little with your exhalation and take two more cycles of breath here. Beautiful, when you're ready, pull the left knee into your chest, bring the right knee into meat. We're gonna circle or butterfly the knees. So toes are gonna stay together. Knees are gonna draw out and away from each other. Take a couple of circles in one direction. Nice, and then when you're ready, take those knees and circle them the other way. Awesome, and then when you're ready, we're gonna set the feet down, floating into a reclined butterfly. So set the feet down, soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. Let the knees sink down just a second, take a nice big breath. Cool, and then with control, bring the legs together, knees together, inner thighs together, toes together. And we're gonna push the knees actively in towards each other. Hold that pushing sensation for five, four, three, two, one. Relax those muscles, step your feet to hip width. This is a part halfway bridge, hands alongside the hips. Exhale to lift up to that halfway bridge. So backs of the ribs stay connected towards the ground. Reach your knees toward your toes. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. On your next inhale, release your hips down to the ground. Legs are gonna lift up into a tabletop position. Now we're gonna make two little fists and we're gonna place those fists right between the knees. We're gonna keep a bit of a strength in those fists and knees are gonna push in towards those fists. You're gonna try to squeeze those fists. Don't hurt yourself. Keep your fists strong. 
Keep your knees actively pushing in. We're kicking on those hip supporting muscles, those hip stabilizer muscles. So knees are pushing in towards each other. Strong fists, hold that position for five, four, three, two, one. Relax that position, hands to the outsides of the knees. Now knees are gonna push out, hands are gonna push in. Create that resistance, push your knees out, hold tight with your hands, hold that position nice and steady for five, four, three, two, one. Release that float, both feet up towards the ceiling, into legs up the wall. Readjust your tail, readjust your back, readjust your belly, and then see if here can you find just a soft position, a little bit of letting go of the feet, a little bit of letting go in the ankles, a little bit of letting go in the quadricep muscles. See if, see if you can let your legs be as soft as possible and then just let your arms fall out wherever feels the most comfortable and take about five nice deep breaths here. When you feel ready to come out of legs up the wall, start to find your way to your Shavasana. So float your feet down and then reposition in any way that feels good. Now you might choose to stay in legs up the wall for your Shavasana, that can be a really nice finish. But if you want some other shape, maybe you find your way to it. And then once you've found a shape that feels appropriate for your body this morning, take a second to work out all those little wiggles, get nice and comfortable on your mat. You always have the option to stay in your Shavasana just as long as you like. But if you feel called to do so, or if your day requires it, start to gently reawaken your body. Wiggle your fingers, move your toes, move your wrists, move your ankles. Find any other movement of the limbs that feels appropriate to start to gently reawaken. And then maybe if it feels good to do so, you'll take it into a big good morning stretch. Walk your legs long, stretch your arms up and overhead, take a nice deep breath of back into your body. Beautiful. And then in your own way and at your own pace, find your way up to a comfortable seated position. Sukhasana or any other seat that allows you to sit up nice and tall. And we're just going to finish with a little satali breath or a variation of satali breath. So that cooling breath. So if you can make a taco tongue or that little U shape, that's the, where your inhale is going to be with through the little taco tongue. If you can't, some, some of us just genetically speaking, can't make the taco tongue. So if you can't make the taco tongue, you'll just kind of place your tongue right close to that little O shape of your mouth. So inhaling through the taco tongue or through that little O shape of your mouth, and then exhale, we'll close the mouth and breathe out through the nose. So find that little taco tongue and then inhale through your mouth. Close your mouth, breathe out through your nose. Taco tongue or O shape of the mouth, breathe in through your mouth. Close your mouth and breathe out through your nose. 
One more cycle of breath, taco tongue or O shape of the mouth, breathe in through the mouth. Close your mouth for your exhale. And then allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Bring your prayer hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra and bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And breathe in a whole bunch of extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your day and share with everyone you see. And when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy, happy Thursday. You guys are so awesome. <laughs>